Good evening. Tonight, tonight I'm going to have just a little bit of a rant, as is my want. Um, now over the course of the past wee while that I've been doing videos, I have got a lot of people who have commented saying, Nyeh! at least that's how I imagine they sound, you are going to ruin your instrument because you don't use your fingers properly on the valves. Some people might complain that uh, I use the wrong parts of my fingers, that my fingers are curved when they should be flat or whatever. I've had every variation of complaint uh, about the way that I have played valves in some of my videos. Uh, if you're a long time viewer for my channel you'll know that my grip often changes. Um, but this video is just going to be a little bit of a rant to try and educate some of those people because yes this is the internet and yes we can tell people what to think. So let's start with some really basic stuff. A valve, the valves in a brass instrument, uh, they've been around, the design for these has been around for 150 years plus. They have a very short list of requirements. They need to firstly go down and then go up and that's pretty much their job. Um, there's not a lot to master. It doesn't take years and years and years of research and development to get that list of requirements all ticked off. Um, second thing, these are made of metal. Now metal is a, is, a, is a material known for being relatively strong. Um, these valves are not made out of paper mache or, or, or carefully sculpted out of carrot sticks. They are made out of a very strong material that resists bending. Uh, thirdly, the amount of effort that it takes to bend a valve is far greater than the amount of effort that is expended by a finger wiggling a valve up and down. Next thing, so that's, that's some of the really obvious stuff that should come through to anyone's mind uh, when they think about this at all, but there are, um, there are a couple of things that actually do lend itself a little bit of credence to the whole, if you put lateral pressure on the valve it's going to ruin it. So um, if you have a very cheap made, a uh, very cheaply made instrument, they might have taken a few shortcuts on uh, the construction of the valve. So firstly, um, the valve should fit inside the sleeve with no discernible wiggle whatsoever. If you try to wiggle the valve from side to side, you shouldn't be able to feel it wiggling around. And so what that means is that if you try to put lateral pressure, there isn't a pivot point. It doesn't actually provide uh, any real effect because this, there's no give here. It, it, it is in the center correctly aligned and it doesn't have any play in it. That's what a good valve should be like. If you've got an instrument where the valve does have lateral wiggle, um, then you might have an issue. And that issue is going to be caused, uh, that issue is going to be caused by the bottom of the valve scraping against the valve barrel. Now, on an, uh, this is an Olds Mellophone um, and it is a, Olds is a reasonable brand, um, they don't exist anymore, but the ends of these valves have got a slight uh, chamfer, a bezel, or whatever, a bevel, whatever you want to call it, on the, um, on the edge here, so it isn't a sharp, if I run my finger over here, there isn't a sharp edge, and so consequently, if the valve wasn't correctly aligned and the edge of this was scraping against the valve barrel it's not really going to make a difference because that isn't a very sharp edge. Now if you compare the uh, edge on the world's cheapest trumpet that I reviewed a little while ago, the, uh, the bottom rim of the valve is actually quite sharp. It is theoretically possible that that could rub against the valve barrel and cause some of that to be uh, slowly, over a long period of time, scooped away. And that will uh, lose compression on the valve and lose some of the, uh, lose some of the playing qualities of that instrument. Um, the next thing is that we use lubrication. We use oil. Some people use spit. I don't recommend that because spit isn't as lubricantable as oil is, but we use that so that the valve slides up and down just that little bit more nicely, uh, well lubricated for the, for the player's pleasure. 
And so really, if you've got an instrument that is reasonably made, your valves are kept reasonably well lubricated, there is no way, unless you uh, articulate these valves with a sledgehammer, that just a tiny amount of lateral pressure is going to have any negative effects whatsoever. There's just no way. It's not going to happen. The exceptions, of course, are what I mentioned before. If your valve has got sideways give when you undo the, uh, the valve screw, and if you can do that and it wiggles from side to side and makes a, a, a discernible clunk, then you might have a problem. And only if you've got that first problem and you've got an issue with the edge, edges of the valve at the bottom being very sharp, then then you might have a future issue. But that issue will not be that the valve bends. That issue will be that the inner barrel of the valve uh, starts eroding. The likelihood of somebody bending a valve by pushing it down sideways is just minuscule. And if it were to happen, it would not be the thick part of the valve that gives way. It would be the little part up here that gives way first. So please, let's use some common sense. These instruments are not brand new constructions that have suddenly flourished and burst forth onto the market. They are something that has been around for years and years and years. A lot of research and development has gone into them and something as unsophisticated as a valve which only needs to go up and down. It's not that hard, so please don't say, don't send me messages saying that your valve is going to bend because you play it with the wrong part of your fingers or the wrong shape of your fingers or whatever, because it's just rubbish. And if you want to say, well it happened to me, or I had a friend this happened to, or something like that, then I bet you one peso of whatever currency you want that it wasn't actually caused by pushing the valves down wrong. It would have been caused by a drop, or some form of impact, or some other sign of neglect. I don't think there is any chance of any reasonable instrument having this problem. Anyway, that ends today's sermon. Thank you for listening.